What happened to this lens is it must have had front impact and it's all jammed in forward because uh, there's like a little rubber bumper uh, that goes around and stops the helicoid from going too far and that's way past and over so uh, from where it would stop and hit so that means it got jammed and turned um, so anyways I was able to uh, turn the focus back and um, you know I pull it out a little bit but it's just so jammed in there it's actually uh, I have another 28 here and I was looking at them comparing and it's a, a, like about four millimeters jammed into the lens so I basically I'm gonna have to cut my this shell off and that doesn't matter because all we're using is the assembly and this and then it's gonna be free floating on the bellows and um, and then the mount so it's you you have basically we're gonna have two sections if you watch my 50 milli you'd see it so we have the uh, mount and then nothing in between it's just held on with this rubber boot and then the front element which has the entire uh, electronic assembly so we're gonna repeat that um, and uh, I might yeah I'll probably put the circuit board on the front element how, as it is here so it's free floating yeah that's a good idea I won't put it on the mount so I have to cut mine out because there's no way I'm gonna pull this out it's just it's so stuck in there I tried pressing it and I don't want to damage my innards it's just not worth it because this is all scrap anyways so I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna cut this out yeah I'm gonna cut it out so as you know um, this whole assembly uh, is supposed to turn and mine is just so seized. I can turn it a little bit and there's just tons of plastic in here all peeling up and just dest destroyed but it's just so jammed. I'm gonna try and work and take some of this stuff off. This spins freely and I mean you know how uh, the normal focus is supposed to work on these things. It's well it's supposed to work but I can't even you know it's just so locked up. You can see the plastic peeling in there so I'm gonna work and see if I can get some of this metal off just to lighten the lens up. So you can see I got I managed to get this off. Um, what I'm gonna do is unsolder this. So good thing I didn't try and repair this lens. It was so smashed. All these are all cut off, almost the bottom ones at least. And there was just plastic everywhere. So this is totally botched now. I just wiped off the grease. I'm gonna wipe it a little bit more. We took this screw out uh, of this spot earlier, if you saw that. And so, um, th this actually, the aperture inside is held onto that. Uh, I don't know, so just touch this a little bit and drop down. So we're gonna put the screw back in. Um, it has a little bit of glue on the top, very flat and very short. So that one right here, and you can see it cinched it up there. I'm not going to fiddle with this. Um, I was going to take this element out, I was going to hardwire this just because of movement, but I'm going to put the board down right on here, and so this ribbon's not going to move, and um, I should be able to just uh, keep this wiring harness on it, and then it's last work. So I'm going to solder that back on, and then we're going to start. There's these slots here. I'm actually just put a little tape on them just so more dust doesn't get in there. There, it's nice and sealed up. Now we're going to uh, solder this back on right here. And then I'm gonna mount this. So I'm gonna do a test again and, uh, and then we'll continue. I'm gonna put some uh, double-sided sticky tape on all these uh, parts that stick up and I'm gonna stick it down there. Then I'm going to gently wrap this, tape it down so it's not gonna be snagging.
So you guys can see how well that sticks. Um, it's hard to get off. <laughs> Um, so here we go. I'm gonna place this down. So it's a super, super, super sticky. Holy moly. That's a one time thing. If you don't get it, that's where it sits forever now. Just gonna wrap this extra down. because uh, you're probably wondering how did this get all soldered on and everything. What happened was I built up, because um, we taped this down, I wanted to secure it and I put uh, strips of styrene across and they were really flat but it was, they were like, what are they, 0.5 of a millimeter? But I realized, and this just shows Canon's, um, how well they build these lenses and how precise they are, I didn't realize that we don't have any room to wiggle. Um, we can't leave any spacing where it's not needed. I mean, even your soldering has to be flat. So I actually uh, filed my soldering flat because if we lose one millimeter, you lose infinity focus. And, and then you're definitely not gonna be able to tilt uh, that either. So we're gonna take this off. I just did a quick test on everything and it all works still, so we're gonna unsolder this. We gotta take this, we gotta take off the, uh, this, uh, tether leash off of here, a ribbon. I'm going to cut seven uh, sections and then we'll wire them in. Clip them and tin them. Yeah, just pull it off. Yeah. And, uh,. I learned from the uh, 50 mil. we want them laying in on the arch. I had them on this side before, but then I had to bend them around. So put them like this. All right, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, they're super tough, they're on there really great. The 50 mil you had, you had one wire cross over. I had a watch, but this, they're all straight down, as they are. So we're just gonna wire them straight down. I'm gonna try and put some of that tubing on, the um, some of this heat shrink tubing. And uh, and so I'm just gonna pull them, so I know which one I'm soldering. It's absolutely critical that you get this so pressed down and um, everything very flat because just that uh, half millimeter and then with the uh, rubber hood which we're gonna cut and um, and then uh, and then mounting and everything you lose a millimeter or two and that is enough to throw off the focus to lose infinity focus I wipe this down with acetone and uh, alcohol just to get rid of oil and then uh, we're gonna tape we're actually gonna I got some clear packing tape but it's very sticky and so I'm actually just gonna run some tape because it's paper thin I'm gonna run some tape uh, in between <clears throat> not around high points that'll re reduce some spacing issues and then um, I thought about grinding this down um, but I don't want to start mucking close to the aperture. What I'm actually going to do though is there's probably half a millimeter or a full millimeter on this mount of a raised area and that was a lip to catch onto 
the mount so <clears throat> just had a better grip but we don't have that and so this is actually if anything this is reducing uh, grip uh, because it's such a small space it doesn't have the edge that we're gonna well, I'm not gonna make an edge to fit into this groove um, so if I, I'm gonna grind this down a, mil, a millimeter or half a millimeter and uh, and then we'll have a larger surface and we gain access to um, uh, infinity focus because I want to be able to tilt off infinity focus um, so I get a nice you know tilted effect with with infinity focus so we're gonna grind this down I'm gonna do the tape thing first and uh, and then cut the boot and everything